Hey everyone, and welcome to question two associated with the prevalence and incidence lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, you're studying patients with diabetes, and you're asked to predict how the following changes will impact prevalence and incidence. So the first scenario is improved treatments. So we could imagine that if treatments get better, patients with diabetes will live longer, and therefore prevalence will go up. There'll be more patients with the disease. However, better treatments will not affect incidence because incidence is the development of new disease and treatments only benefit patients who already have the disease. Therefore, we would expect incidence to stay the same. Once they have the disease, they have a longer lifespan, but better treatments isn't gonna make the incidence go up or down. Now we're asked to think how increased funding for community exercise and healthy diet would impact diabetes. So we know diabetes is often associated with metabolic syndrome and patients who uh, may be overweight or obese. So we could imagine that community exercise and healthy diet may reduce cases of diabetes, therefore leading to a decrease in incidence less people developing new disease. From the lecture, we discussed that one of the things that can decrease prevalence is decreased incidence. So in this case, if there are less patients who are developing the disease in the first place, there's gonna be less patients walking around with the disease in the population. So we would expect both incidence and prevalence to go down. Lastly, let's think about how lowering the hemoglobin A1C cutoff from 6.5% to 5.5% would impact prevalence and incidence. So if we were to lower the cutoff, more patients would qualify as having diabetes, and therefore we would expect incidence to go up. There'd be more patients newly diagnosed with the disease. At the same time, this increased incidence would be expected to lead to an increase in prevalence because more patients are being diagnosed with the disease, and therefore there are more patients walking around with the disease. If you had trouble with this question, I recommend re-watching the lecture on prevalence and incidence. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.